All right, guys, welcome to the Kitchen Daddy cooking channel. I'm Hugh, and today we're talking all about baby food, and in particular, baby's first breakfast. So this video is for all you parents out there, especially you first-time parents who are moving your child onto solids for the first time, because I know it can be a little bit daunting. But what I'd like to do is share a really wonderful recipe that my kids have absolutely loved. But more importantly, I'm gonna show you how I had to adapt it for each of my children, because as we all know, every kid is different and they all eat in different ways. So before we go any further, this video and blog post is presented as sharing personal experiences only. It is not intended to replace professional medical advice. Always consult a medical professional before introducing new foods to your baby. Let's get into it. So to kick off, I need half a banana. We're just gonna peel that and slice that up into a measuring jug or a, a bowl with some high sides. Now let's grab a fork. We're gonna mash that into a nice paste. Next, I'm gonna use some rice cereal, or you could use some multigrain cereal. So I need a quarter of a cup, which is about 15 grams. Now let's add that in. Now the liquid we're gonna use for this is made up baby formula. You could use water as an alternative, but my kids have always been on baby formula when we've transitioned them uh, onto solid food, so I've only ever used this. So let's add some in there, and we're gonna mix it around until it becomes a really nice thick paste. Right parents, this is where all the fun begins because we're about to embark on a big game of trial and error of trying to work out what consistency your baby's food needs to be for them to eat it. Now, there's no exact science, but all you have to do is just keep adding more milk or keep adding more water to this, mix it around until it gets to a consistency which you think will be right for your baby. Now, let me give you an example of the kind of extremes of this. So my son Max, he would like this quite thick with a lot of body, he couldn't have any banana lumps in there. If we had banana lumps in there, it got rejected. Um, and the other good thing with Max is that he'd eat this at room temperature. Now my daughter Zara, on the other hand, would only eat it if it was almost at milk consistency. That was quite a discovery for us. So we tried feeding her at this kind of like normal consistency for a, for a baby, first of all, and she just wouldn't eat it. And as soon as we watered it down, she'd start eating it. Now again, she doesn't like any lumps in there whatsoever, no texture. Um, so what we actually do is grab the ham blender and blitz that up into a really, really smooth paste. Now over a period of time, we've actually made it thicker and thicker and thicker. And now eventually she's eating things on a normal kind of baby food consistency. But seriously guys, this is what you've got to do. Never think that your baby just won't eat there's always some reason behind it. So whether it's consistency, whether it's temperature, sorry, there you go. So Zara has to have her food at kind of blood temperature. So the, the kind of temperature that you'd uh, give a bottle at. So um, yeah, 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 it is all trial and error. Don't give up, just try different things. Guys, I'm gonna be making loads more baby food videos. So help me help you. Tell me, what are the pinch points for you? What things do you find difficult in the kitchen? Uh, you know, is it about preparation or is it about kind of flavor combinations? I would love to help. So leave your comments below. Also, if you said, also, if you could subscribe to the Kitchen Daddy cooking channel, that would be awesome. And check out the Kitchen Daddy website as well. I've got loads more information on there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.